Okay, um, so let's hit the critical stuff right at the start. Um, what needs to be changed here in the critical area, you say? Uh, there are two points I think we can, or three points I think we can change. First of all, for the, the Brexit, so now we will have to observe if the Brexit will, will be indeed effective. Will uh, Boris Johnson and his new government and the parliament will indeed approve effectively the Brexit? So this is the first point, because many things can still change. Uh, 31st of January is in one and a half months. Many things may happen in one and a half months. Uh, and the second point related to the Brexit is to observe also the behavior of Scotland. Because with the Brexit, uh, the, the election result, we are seeing that uh, movement for the independence of Scotland are much more important. So, and so this can be problematic for UK, in fact. And so this is the second point. And the third point is, it seems that the relationship between USA and China about the tariffs um, uh, is progressively improving. And so this is perhaps less critical for, for the moment. Okay. Um, so I'll still keep it as monitor, but yeah, uh, I have read some comments around the place that it's it's a way of making more money out of it to say yes, it's on, and <clears throat> the the trade is nearly completed, so prices go up, and then they say no, it's off, and so prices go down, and so there are people just using that as a way of manipulating the markets to take advantage of. Yeah, indeed. What is the part of reality? What is the part of uh, manipulation, information yeah. manipulation again? So uh, so this means that we still need to be attentive. Okay. So uh, regarding pound and Brexit then, I presume still critical, still got to watch out for January the 31st. Yeah. Um, Okay, how about the repo market? Now, now, now this does not mean that um, even if the Brexit is effective on 21st of January, that the problem of the Brexit will end, because normally, oh, no. with the effective Brexit, uh, UK and the European Union will enter into a new phase of negotiation for, uh, for one year, one year and a half, uh, until the end of 2020. And uh, or to, 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 2021, I don't remember exactly the, the exact date. And they can still have no agreement, uh, in fact. And so if they don't have an agreement at the end of that period, the Brexit will be a no-deal Brexit. So the problem are, are not uh, yet uh, behind us, in fact, with the Brexit. So uh, many yeah. things may still happen, which it's can influence the, the pound, in fact. The beginning has only just started. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what should I put down here, Eusebio? How do you want it handled? Remove your videos? Uh, yeah, you can remove the video. You can remove uh, the, okay. the, the two videos. The calendar for the parliamentary. The calendar, yeah. 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 Simply indicate, now follow the, the effectiveness of the Brexit, follow okay. the negotiation phase, and follow the, uh, the situation with Scotland. Sure, okay. Uh, then let's... Shrug on. Thank you. Uh, US versus China, keep, keep on monitoring it. It's looking yes. more favorable, but I'll leave that out because a tweet can change that really quickly. Or a yep. new president. <laughs> Fingers <laughs> crossed. Okay. Uh, sorry, anybody that likes Trump. Um, oh, did I say his name? Uh, US Fed. So this rate cut that's gone, has it not? Uh... It's slowed I, down. I, I, I have to check to see if the repo is still um, uh, applied, uh, yep. but it seems that now uh, there is some consensus about the fact that the repo problem has arrived because some banks uh, were refusing to give credits to other banks, in fact. We don't know which banks, uh, but uh, it seems that it, it, it is, it, there is more and more consensus ab about uh, this fact. In fact, so, but I will check if the repo is still running. In fact, okay, I'll I'll leave it up. Better to be safe than sorry. Uh, China and Hong Kong, it's still yeah, rumbling away. Still to, yeah, no, no, we are yeah. still to, to to monitor. All the other points must still be monitored. In fact, yep. Uh, okay.
Am I still on the line? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it sounded like my headset cut out. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Syria, Libya, ECB, still to come up. Yeah. Uh, Germany's banking system, Italy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, More than ever. Yeah, indeed. Okay. So pretty much stays the same except for the, the pound. And yes. Anybody else got some comments? New records. Okay. Yes. Okay, uh, Johnson said he wants to pass the actual Brexit deal. He already agreed with the EU through Parliament. Uh, okay, that'll be interesting. Yeah, but, but now, in fact, what we have to consider after the election is no longer the, what people are telling uh, Johnson, for example, or someone on the EU, but the facts. Uh, and because I think we are too close to the 21st of January, and so perhaps the, the, the fact and not the talk will have more importance now. And so let's see how effective they will be. Yep. Okay, thank you. Uh, so back to the regular stuff, uh, normal broadcast transmission is the calendar itself for this week. Uh, just over 100 news items this week. and. Uh, all yours, you save you. Yeah, but switch to the next week, please, Chris. Ah, uh, it will be better. I thought you were better than that, you save you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So <clears throat> we have for Sunday. We have. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have nothing special on Sunday. Okay. Not Chinese retail. Uh, the retail sales? No, not really. Okay. Then on Monday we will have. Let's I'll scroll down just a minute. Yeah. Not too much. Not too much. Yep. Because there is a, a, a portion of the the calendar which yep. is hidden by the the clock. I know it's it's just the date. So okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Better that way. We will have. Let's see. I will monitor the Euro German flash manufacturing PMI and a uh, neutral or a bit a bit bullish sorry no a bit bullish sorry okay then for the pound we'll have the flash manufacturing pmi so major and uh, neutral the difference between the previous months and the forecast is not big enough so neutral and similarly the flash services pmi uh, major and um, neutral too. Okay. Then we have, uh, I will monitor the US dollar flash manufacturing PMI, simply monitor but neutral. I will monitor the pound uh, bank stress test results. even if I don't really believe in these uh, stress tests. For me, they means nothing. I can hope special. Then uh, I will monitor the Bank of England financial stability report and the meeting minutes and the uh, statement. So it just monitors? Yeah, monitor. yeah, because the decision has been made last week, or the week before. Normally, nothing new, but it depends how the big boys will interpret so these, yep. uh, these informations. Then we will have, uh, let's see, uh, monitor, the, monitor the Aussie Monetary Policy Meetings Minute. Uh, okay, sorry, um, the, G, the FPC statement up here. Yeah, indeed. Just monitor? Monitor, yeah. Okay. I didn't hear you mention it. Okay, so forget tick. No, not the tick. Okay. And, and the Monetary Policy Meeting Minutes for the Aussie. To, to monitor. Okay. And that's it for uh, okay. Monday. Scrolled. <clears throat> On Tuesday, <clears throat> we will have, let's see, um, the Euro trade balance, major higher time frames and neutral. 
We have the CAT manufacturing sales month of the month major bullish. We have the Kiwi GDT price index major higher time frames to be defined and know that the time yep. schedule is not defined yet. Yep. Then let's see the speech by Rosengren. Okay. Click. So due to speak at the forecast or club of New York, uh, no, let's forget. And we have the uh, Kiwi current account major higher time frames uh, bearish. And we have the yen trade balance major higher time frames and uh, uh, neutral. Okay. And that is for Tuesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Okay, two shots. So uh, let's see the speech by Lagarde. <clears throat> due to deliver opening remarks at an ECB colloquium held in honor of Benoit Curé in Frankfurt. Uh, Benoit Curé was an uh, economist, so no, not important at all. Uh, I will monitor the German E4 business climate and uh, a bit bullish. I will monitor the pound CPI year over year in the context of the Brexit. And so uh, monitor but neutral. Then uh, similarly for the core CPI year over year and neutral too. I'm still marking these as care because I don't know how things are going to react now that yeah. they used to jump around a lot. They still might, I don't know. Then next the speech by uh, Brainard at 5.15 okay. a.m. Scrolling. Due to participate in a panel discussion, so let's forget. Then we have the CAD CPI month of the month major higher time frames to be defined. And we have the CAD core CPI month of the month major higher time frames to be defined. Okay. Then we have uh, to monitor the US dollar crude oil inventories. Then let's see the speech by Evans. Due to speak at an economic club of Indiana luncheon, let's forget. Then we have the Kiwi GDP quarter over quarter major higher time frames neutral. We have the Kiwi trade balance major higher time frames uh, bullish. Then we have the Aussie employment change uh, major higher time frames uh, bullish. And the unemployment rate uh, neutral. Okay. Uh, I think last month when the Aussie came out, it made a reasonable movement. Mm -hmm on the chart, so if anybody is trading it, keep an eye out for that one. Um, okay. Then we have a big one for the yen, so in red, so the monetary policy statement, so, uh, maj so uh, major plus higher time frames plus. Um, then the bank, similarly for the bank policy, Bank of Japan policy rate and uh, neutral. And then the, the press conference, so similarly. Then we have the Swiss trade balance major higher time frames neutral. Then we have the uh, pound retail sales month over month major bullish. Then we have another big one in red. So uh, on the pound, the official bank rate votes. Uh, major higher time frames, so major plus higher time frames, uh, neutral. Similarly for the monetary policy, but we have no bias for that, of course. The bank rate uh, will be neutral. The asset purchase facility will be neutral, and the pur asset purchase facility vote, so neutral too. 
then we have the card, uh, no, the, the, the card wholesale sales, month over month, not the ADP uh, non farm employment. <coughs> so the card wholesale sales, a major and uh, bearish. Oh, I released it. Not high your time frame, Chris. Yep, yep. And then we have the US dollar, Philly Fed Manufacturing Index. In the present context, I will consider it as major. So major and a bit bearish. Then we have the current account, so major higher time frames and uh, a bit bullish. And if you want to scroll down oh, sure. the, the calendar. So there's Philly Fed. Yeah, Philly Fed. But we're on the current account. So uh, then we have uh, to monitor the US dollar natural gas storage. And I will monitor the pound GFK consumer confidence neutral. And what will you monitor it for? Uh, it is a consumer confidence, so uh, a consumer confidence is always important because it can impact the market sentiment, in fact. Okay. Uh, a survey of about 2,000 consumers. Yeah. Okay to see if optimism will come back or not, will increase or will decrease. That is for Thursday and Friday. <clears throat> we have similarly, I will monitor the German JFK consumer uh, climate and uh, neutral. Then we have the Euro current account major higher time frames bearish. The pound current account major higher time frames bullish. The GDP final no the GDP final uh, the final GDP is, uh, is not important so you can eliminate that. Sir. Then we have the speech by Haskell at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Due to the speech titled The Economic Outlook for 2020 and Beyond um, at the Resolution Foundation. No, let's forget, not important. Then we will have, uh, I will monitor the pound Bank of England quarterly Bolton. Then we have the CAD core retail sales month over month major to be defined. And similarly for the retail sales month over month. Then we will have uh, what? Uh, uh, no, that's all. That's all. Not the final GDP. No, it's not important. And that's all. So Treasury report is out as well. No. Oh yes. Okay, but it's out. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Uh, so. Yes, we spend a lot of times on these, but uh, this is really important stuff so that you don't uh, s sort of trade yourself into a situation where there's a surprise comes out on the news. That's why we spend a lot of time on it. So if there's any news coming out on, on items marked H4 and above, traders trading H4 timeframes and above uh, don't place any orders one hour before the news comes out and get out of them within half an hour of the news coming out. Uh, likewise for people trading smaller time frames, uh, anything marked with major, <clears throat> then uh, again, don't place any orders within one hour and get out before that. Uh, don't place any orders within the hour before the news comes out and get out of it within half an hour of the news coming out. This is because in the past there's been a lot of volatility when, when there's been a surprise on the news. And so we're trying to uh, get you to avoid that so that you protect your account money, not necessarily your profits. So for those of you who are trading SAM or standard and you're up several units, I've got several units running, then maybe close some of the units down so that uh, um, you don't lose profits, perhaps uh, you protect it. Uh, yeah, uh, and you should maybe, you'll have to judge this on yourself, uh, be able to sail through it, uh, protecting your account at the same time, just by removing some of the um, uh, or taking some of the profit before the before the news comes up. 
Uh, okay, and the top 10 pairs for this week are these ones here. Uh, I've gone down to the Euro Yen. I've still got a very small range on these. I'll just make this out. Uh, no, limit to the Euro Kiwi, Chris. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was wondering. I, I didn't know how far you wanted to go down. Yeah. Sure. Uh, okay, so since the beginning of the year, we started off at 1300 bucks was the average, the best average daily range, and then it dropped all the way down when the Brexit was in full nonsense, and then it started to come back up in July and came up quite well when things were looking really well, and then it's decreased again coming up to this election. So we'll have to see what it's like over the next few weeks. But now we're also heading into Christmas where everything sort of quietens down a lot, and there's natu a natural um, uh, tightening of the ranges, so uh, there, there might be a bit of exuberance after this, and then it'll probably die down again. Um, okay. Yeah, so, I yeah. think that th this week will be the last week interesting to trade uh, for this year. Next week and the week after will be the week with Christmas and New Year, so uh, all the big boys will be absent. So the two last week of uh, uh, December better not to trade. And it is not a surprise to see that we have many big, big news uh, this week, in fact. Ah, good. Yep. And uh, while we're on that, next weekend we'll have a primer scrolling party, and the weekend after that is the standard end of course scrolling party. Just yes. so you've got some idea on what's coming up. Okay, and then we can have a rest. Um, so back over here, uh, I've copied the, them across to so I'll delete these ones. So uh, what Eusebio is going to do now is pair up the uh, the main pairs with the news coming out on a daily basis to get our daily ranges, or our pairs to look at on a daily basis. So all yours, Eusebio. So okay. on Monday we have uh, the pound. The pound, 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 and pound, <laughs> yes. Come on, I'm trying to scroll. That's it. That's Just it. So we will have the pound kiwi or pound Aussie, then the pound yen, and yep. then the the pound Swiss. Do I have it? No. Okay. Uh, leftovers from Monday. There's nothing. And on Tuesday we have uh, the euro, the euro, okay, the CAD, the CAD here, okay, uh, the kiwi, which could come out at any time, the kiwi and the kiwi, okay, yep, that's it. So we will have the euro kiwi or euro Aussie. Euro Kiwi or Euro Aussie. Then they we'll like share. No, 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 no. <laughs> not necessary. Then we'll have the pound Kiwi or pound Aussie. Yep. And then the pound card. <laughs> okay. And uh, leftovers from Tuesday. Uh, the Kiwi. The Kiwi. So kiwi, kiwi, okay. The yen. The yen, okay. And on Tuesday itself we have the CAD. So the CAD, okay. And we've already done the kiwi, so... Yeah, so, so we have the it. kiwi, yeah. okay. So we will have, again, the pound kiwi or pound Aussie. Okay. Then we will have uh, the... Uh, Euro, Kiwi, or Euro Aussie, okay. and then the Pound Yen. Ah, okay. So that was leftovers from Tuesday. But we had a CAD, you didn't... Ah, oh, that was on Tuesday, that's all right. Yeah. Oh no, there, there was a CAD one there, Eusebio. Yeah, indeed, but uh, we you have to make it there. Yeah, no, indeed. Okay, righty. Otherwise, this uh, would make six pairs to monitor instead of five. Uh, 
It's not unusual. Yep, okay. And so leftovers from Wednesday are the kiwi. So the kiwi, okay. It came in right on the close. So uh, the Aussie, again. The Aussie, okay. The yen, the big one on the yen. The yen, okay. And on Thursday itself, still the yen, uh, the pound. The pound, 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 and pound, okay. Uh, the Swiss. The Swiss, okay. <laughs> the CAD. The CAD, okay. Uh, let's throw in the US dollar as well. And the US dollar, okay. Well, we have plenty of choice. So, we will have, for the first choice, the pound kiwi or pound Aussie. Then we will have the pound yen. And then. <laughs> uh, or. Uh, so let's say this would be exceptional pound yen or pound Swiss. Uh, already pound got the yen. pound yen. No, uh, pound, uh, change pound yen into pound yen or pound Swiss. Ah. And then pound card or pound US dollar. So we will have six pair that day. Voila. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, I will do nothing that day because there are too many news. <laughs> <sighs> okay. And uh, leftovers from Thursday, we have nothing. Okay. And on Friday, we have the euro. So the euro, okay. The pound. The pound, 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 and pound, yeah. And the CAD. And the CAD. Okay, so we will have the euro pound. Mm. It's a new one. Yeah. Then the pound CAD. For you. And then we can we will have the pound kiwi or pound Aussie. Okay, cool. So the reason that we're doing these is we've got all of these pairs to look at that you can select for the week that are the best movers for the past four weeks. I checked them this morning again as well. They're still the same. Mm -hmm. And okay. uh, now we're narrowing them down on a daily basis a bit to help match up the best movers with the news that's coming out to give you the best opportunity to uh, pick the low-hanging fruit out there. <laughs> <laughs>